Awesome. All right, well, we'll start off cross-legged again today. Let's close our eyes for a moment. I'm just gonna switch the air a little bit here. Taking a few deep breaths. With each exhale, we're gonna allow the shoulders to just sink down a little more. And if you wanna accentuate that some, you can place your hands on your knees, palms up, let your elbows feel heavy. So we're sinking through the shoulders, but also trying to make an open feeling across the chest. So rather than kind of uh, rounding the back or allowing yourself to slouch, try to lift the chest slightly like you're gonna lift your sternum. Allow your head and your chin to press back slightly. So just straightening up your posture, straightening up your neck. And just holding your spine nice and straight, take a big breath in. As you exhale, drop your ear to one shoulder. So still keeping that heavy feeling in the opposite elbow and the opposite shoulder. Big breath in, move your head through the center. Exhale to drop your ear over the other shoulder. And we're doing the same thing, allowing that elbow and shoulder to feel heavy. Inhale to bring your head back up to neutral. Let's just drop one hand into your lap. Other hand's gonna come up overhead and get a slight side bend. Taking a few breaths here and we're gonna expand through the rib cage. So trying to inhale against the stretch. After you've taken a few breaths, we're gonna inhale the arm down and then repeat on the other side. So take your time, placing the other hand in your lap and reaching up and over. And then same thing with you, once you've gotten through a few breaths, we're gonna come up nice and tall. Let's bring the hands behind the back. You can clasp the fingers. If you can reach them, open the chest toward the ceiling, lifting that chin just a little bit. Big breath in, we're gonna exhale, release the fingers, stretch the hands forward and fold it over. Inhale, let's draw it on up. We're gonna go ahead onto hands and knees. So hop off of your bottom, wiggle those toes out if you need to. And we're gonna place the hands down under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Take a moment just to wiggle side to side. So still warming up the sides of the waist and hips. So shoulders are moving toward one side of the mat while your hips <laughs> Try to yawn, kind of move toward the other. <laughs> Just a few more passes. Okay, then when you're ready, we're gonna to return to neutral and go through cat and cow. So pulling those shoulders down, starting the spine in neutral, big breath in. We're gonna lift the forehead and lift the tailbone, we're sinking the belly button toward the mat. And 
Breathe in, and then as you exhale, we're gonna push away from the floor and round the spine. Again, inhale, arch the back, pull those shoulder blades down and together. Big breath in, exhale to round. You're hugging the bubble. One more time through both on your own. You'll inhale to arch the spine. And then when you're ready to change over, you'll just exhale and round the spine. Okay, so you'll return back to neutral. We're gonna send the knees out wide, bring the big toes together. Go ahead and settle the hips down and stretch out away from the wrists. And you can fiddle with the distance here. You can walk your hands further away if you need more of a stretch in the shoulders. So while we're hanging out here, we're gonna take one hand, reach it over to the side and then stretch the other arm on top. So we're reaching both arms over to one edge of the mat, a little more of a stretch through the side. And then repeating the same thing to the other side of the mat. You can walk your hands over, still resting that forehead down. Okay, good, go ahead, return those hands to the center. Two more breaths here. We're gonna bring the body up. Let's pull those knees in. We're gonna go into a passive lunge here. So let's bring one leg in front. Make sure you've got some space between your knee and your foot. So maybe a knee on one edge of the mat, front foot on the other edge. We're gonna place the hands down and just nice and easy, sink those hips forward. We're moving that weight forward so our knee is over our ankle. Just give it in a few breaths. With each exhale, trying to feel like your body relaxes more, your hips sink down a bit more. And when you're ready, we're gonna move our weight back. We're gonna take that back foot and curl it in so that when you sit down, we'll be in a figure four. So back foot will be curled into your thigh. The leg that we just had in front is still out in front of us, but we're just in a figure four. Take a big breath in. We're gonna exhale and fold it over those legs. So getting into the back of the thigh now. Trying to soften through the back of the leg. Give it two more breaths. Okay, so we're gonna inhale and come on up. Let's keep this foot pretty much where it is, but flip the knee up. So we're making the sage pose. We're gonna wrap the opposite arm around and give it a slight twist. A few breaths here. So if you can't get one arm around, you can use both arms if you need to. OK, 
Okay, and then keeping this foot where it is, we're gonna take that arm that we had on our leg, place it behind us, and now we're gonna turn the other way. So hands gonna go on the inside, and we're gonna get a little bit more of a turn. So I'm actually picking my butt cheek up off the mat here. We're turning way off to the side. There we go, so big stretch through the side of the waist and in through the hip. Give it two more breaths. All right, take your time. We're gonna turn back to the front. And now we're gonna meet in our passive lunge. So opposite leg in front this time. Other leg's gonna go behind us. We've still got about a shoulder width of space between our feet. So your knee can be on one edge of the mat, front foot on the other. We're gonna settle those hands down and sink your hips forward. And we're butting the inside of our front knee up to the outside of our shoulder. So you should feel a pretty good stretch through the groin and then through the hip flexors. We're trying to keep our breathing steady, even as it gets uncomfortable, and you'll hopefully feel that as you exhale, your hips get a little closer to the mat. One more big breath in. And when you're ready, as you exhale, you'll pull that back foot in slightly, curling it in. You're gonna settle all the way back off of that front leg. And we still got the same leg out in front of us now. So same leg that was in front for our lunge. Okay, that foot's just gonna be butted up right on the inside of your thigh. So same thing, we're gonna big breath in, exhale and send those hands out. Stretching through the back of that thigh. And if you feel that your thigh releases a little bit, you can kind of inch those fingertips forward more, make that stretch stronger if you need it. One more big breath in. On the exhale, you can bring your torso up. We're gonna keep that foot where it is, just flip the knee up. Other hand's gonna go behind us if you can, and we're wrapping the opposite arm around, going into a little twist. One more breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna settle that arm down, keep your foot where it is. Other hand's gonna come on the inside. We're going into that bigger twist. So butt cheek might come up off the mat a little bit. Twisting off to the side. More breath in. On the exhale, you can settle those hips down. Send your legs out long. You can bounce them out if you need to. And then in a moment, we're gonna meet in downward dog. So you can put those feet under you, hands down. I'm gonna curl the toes under. And if you can't come up off the mat, remember downward puppy is where you would hang out with your hips back. Otherwise, hips are gonna come up back away from your wrists trying to get your spine as straight as you can so we're actively lifting through the tailbone and sinking through your heels
Opening up through the chest, give it two more breaths. Right now we're gonna move the hips forward, allow the knees to lower toward the mat. So hips are gonna sink down. We're just gonna open up for a second here. So a really tall cobra here. A couple of breaths. And then you can lower your chest down to the mat. Let's send the hands out overhead if you can. And just rest your forehead down on the mat. Trying to soften through your low back and through the shoulders. Two more breaths here, allow those shoulders to open up. All right, so we're gonna bring those elbows in. Let's give it one more slight back bend. So uh, elbows are gonna go underneath the shoulders. We're pushing the hands down. Pull those shoulders down from the ears. Now we're gonna move into a low plank. We're gonna keep our forearms down on the mat. You can bring them in a little bit more if you need to. Just pick those hips up and flatten out the spine. So we're gonna tuck your hips under, tuck your tailbone under, go into a low plank. Nice and strong, like you're actively trying to curl your tailbone towards your belly. Two more breaths. Awesome. And then we're going to push up and back out of this position. Go ahead and stand on up off the mat and take your time getting up there. Okay, so nice and easy. Just put those feet about a shoulder width wide. My head's going to cut off again. And just easy twists. easy breaths, did a whole bunch of spine and hip stretches. All right, so doing just a couple of ankle stretches for a moment, we're going to take one foot and put it forward, just enough to stretch out that back heel. So you want your back toes to point really strongly forward. Just move your weight forward onto your front leg. Allow that Achilles and your calf to stretch. Just kind of free form, give it a couple breaths. Okay, and then same thing, we're gonna to switch to the other side when you're ready. So you'll bring other foot forward, other foot back. And we're turning those toes really strongly toward the front of the mat. So not like our normal warrior. This is just for your calf and your heel to stretch. All right. Let's step it forward. Let's stay a shoulder width wide again. We're gonna inhale, bring those hands up overhead. Breaths. Then we're going to soften the knees, allow the hips to move back slightly and reach those hands toward the floor. Relax through the low back. Big breath in, soften through the knees, allow the hips to come forward, bring the 
body up nice and tall. So we're gonna go into a balance pose, but it's gonna be a warrior. So we're gonna take those hands and stretch them up overhead. Pick out which leg you're gonna stand on. We're gonna bend our knees slightly. Other foot is gonna move slightly behind you. So we're gonna work on moving toward a balance pose with the foot that's directly underneath us. If you get more comfortable, you can start to tip at the hips. And then if you can, try to pick that foot up off the ground, maybe an inch or so. And if you really got a hold of your balance, you can lift up a little higher. Give it five deep breaths. It's all right. If you need to, you can just settle your toe back down. That way you have your balance. And once you reach that fifth breath, we are gonna place that foot down. We're gonna transition into warrior here into a lunge. So back foot's gonna go down, hands are gonna come up still. We just got our front knee over our ankle. Yeah, those arms are getting kind of tired. We're almost there. Big breath in. We're going to pop that leg forward. Allow the hips to move back. Soften the arms and stretch towards the floor. We're going to inhale, knees forward, hips forward, stand on up. So now we're going to try to repeat on the other side. Okay, so other foot's going to stay anchored down into the floor. We're pushing that toe down, bending the knee just a little bit. Let's take those hands, stretch them up overhead. Start to walk that opposite foot back. And then we're starting to gradually just tip your torso. So you can reach further back, and then when you... Get as far back as you can, you can lift that foot. And allow that lift to be a little higher. You can hold on to your balance. Three more deep breaths. Once you get all three, we're gonna settle that foot down, go ahead and transition the body up into a long lunge. So we've got that leg in front of us. There we go. You know, all kinds of funky balance, shouldery stuff. <laughs> Two more breaths, we're almost there. All right, we're gonna hop that back leg forward, relax those hands one more time, stretch it to the floor. If your arms aren't falling off yet. <laughs> and then when you're ready, we're gonna settle it on down to the mat. So you can sit on down, lay back on your back if you'd like, or onto your belly. We're just getting into our last position as we end out here. So make sure you're comfortable. You're gonna close your eyes and breathe nice and deep for these last few minutes.
can stay here for one more minute. As you decide you're done for today, you can move around and just sit up whenever you're done. Thanks to my online peoples for coming and we'll be back next week.